Okay, yo, this is Peter Robot, and this video is on arranging in machine. Uh, a handful of people have asked me how to do this in the comments. Uh, it's not super intuitive. It is relatively easy once you know what to do, but it takes some figuring out, so I thought I'd make a little tutorial for you. Okay, so jumping in, I have started um, a project here that has a bulk of a song written. I've got um, six voices, six groups, kick, bass, tops, chords, etc., etc., and I've written about... 10 scenes um, that make up the track. Okay, so I want to take this whole setup that I've made of all these different scenes and I want to commit them to the grid in the arrangement section. The first thing you're gonna do is click on your first scene, right click, append a song. What that does is it commits the clips um, in that scene uh, to the arrangement grid. You can see them here. Uh, something to keep in mind when you're doing this is it's only going to uh, move over the length of the longest clip in that scene. So for example, each clip in this scene is two bars. So it only moved over two bars. So if you want to um, play multiple loops of a certain scene, you have to append it multiple times. Uh, so for example, this uh, second scene is two bars, but I want to play four bars. So I'm going to append to song and then append to song again. Move over here and you can see now I have two bars of the first one and I have um, four bars of the second one in here. Okay, um, so that said, it is helpful to have kind of like a um, broad arrangement in your head of what you want to do before you commit this stuff over to the arrangement grid because it's a little bit harder to move it around once you get in there. But I'll show you how to do that next. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, move all this stuff over to the arrangement grid. I'm going to do for this one, so it'll have eight bars, etc., etc., etc. Okay, um, so now I have committed all the stuff over to the grid. You can zoom out here and you can see you've got basically a full song right here. Um, the issue now is that none of this stuff, if you click on it, you'll discover that none of this stuff is selectable, accessible, movable, etc. It's just kind of frozen in the background. I don't know why they did that, but that's how it is um, when you first pin something over. Um, so what I do to get around that is I convert everything to clips. Um, and how you do that is right click, select uh, the black bar above the scene, so it selects the whole scene, right click, convert to clips, and huzzah. Now you have a movable, adjustable, selectable clip. Uh, the annoying thing is that it does get rid of your titles, but you know, say la vie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and convert each of these scenes individually to clips. Okay, and everything is boop, converted. Um, now I have a full track of selectable, movable, adjustable clips. Uh, let's just go ahead and play through a little bit of this. Okay, perfect. Um, so to get into some more finite um, arrangement, I'm going to zoom in here because I want um, to add something in uh, as a little transition from that last intro part into the main verse. So I know I've made a couple um, fill patterns um, in this fill group. So I'm just going to um, select the fill group row, right click and insert pattern one, because that's one of the fills I made. And then I want to drop the drums out for that part. So I'm just going to go ahead and resize that clip to half size. Now let's hear what happened there. Hey, Groovy. <laughs> that bass really rings out. Um, so you can make uh, little micro adjustments once you are in the arrangement view. You just have to know how. It's just like not super duper intuitive. Um, so I'm going to put another fill in before the next change to this time without moving the drums. You 
you can also modify the notes in each individual clip. Um, now that you're in the arrangement view, the bottom section of the screen will have uh, the detailed piano roll. So let's say I want to add some drums in uh, before this drops down into the break. I can come in here and do that. So I'm just going to uh, maybe change the last four of these to thirds for fun. Zippity bippity boop. One more third. And then I'll just do a little roll on these last ones. So let's hear that. Okay, and then I want to go ahead and add another fill in right here. So you can see um, now that you've kind of done these first random steps, you've got your actual track written out in the arrangement view and it's adjustable and maneuverable and not as easy as you want it to be, but it's doable. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put another fill in this second breakdown. I could have had this stuff ready in the scenes, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, what you have to do when you want to adjust this stuff. You know, what I'm going to do actually, this is another good example is this breakdown is not as long as I want it to be. So I'm just going to right click duplicate and um, now it is the correct length for that fill that I wanted to put in. So boop, now I insert the fill and I've got um, So I want to take these drums out. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you want to get rid of a scene, just right click delete and that'll smash everything in front of wherever you deleted from. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. You can arrange to your liking now. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. I think I covered everything. But uh, yeah, hit me up in the comments. Peace.